Hey, Steve, it's uh, Mark Russell, uh, 770 Arborist. Just wanted to recap uh, the exact thing. I thought maybe a video would be a little easier uh, to kind of explain some of the things that we're seeing. So essentially, um, this area here is the kind of that calloused wood. Um, let me zoom out. Let's see. Hold on just a second. That is, uh, let's see, one second. one second here. We'll go to 200%. Okay. So this is the, um, that reactionary wood or the callus wood that we were talking about here. Um, goodness gracious, that is super annoying. Um, I apologize. I thought I had it selected and I didn't. Ah, there we go. Okay. So all of that line is telling you, hey, there's some reactionary wood happening. Now, when I look at, um, I'll take this off, this area here, all of this, that looks problematic. All of that area there, and then you see some callus rolling here as well. Okay, so probably what that's saying is either in that crack, um, and I'm going to either in this crack right here or um, maybe somewhere in this area, something's happening. My guess is that if you crack that piece of bark off that's right here, you're going to see like problems right there. And I would guess maybe that this uh, tree has um, um, bacteria wet wood. Um, that might be a possibility. Um, hold on just a second. Let's look at these other pictures. Um, let's see. Okay, so we'll go back out to the 100. Bacterial wet wood might be um, might be an, an issue, uh, which is something that once it gets into the trunk, you can't reverse. Um, this one's not going to be super helpful for the purpose of the, uh, for the video. Um, let's just go one more time over to this. Um, you know, like we were saying, codominance, you know, it'd be great if you saw like a nice saddle coming through here, and then that wouldn't be codominant in that case. But effectively, the biggest issue is you have fibers going down like this, you have fibers going down like this, and there's nothing coming across. So yeah, you have the um, you have the cable, uh, you have the cable holding it. But the problem is, like, if you look even on this photo, um, you can see. Maybe I won't uh, zoom in, but you can just see, like, you've got this taper here, but it's not getting added to. The cable actually takes away the tree's ability to continue to grow that response growth. So ultimately. Here's the thing. What makes me concerned about this tree is its location. Um, I don't that now this I don't know how often if people are ever parked out here um, in the summertime. It looks fairly close. Um, I guess ultimately, uh, here's my feeling on this tree. The fact that you have a cable holding over this is this is necrotic. There is something going on inside this trunk. Some's happening in there. I don't care. You don't get response growth. That that is that is indicating for sure. It's anomalous. Anytime you have anomalies happening, it's saying, "Hey, I don't have good clean." Because a, a trunk, a healthy trunk, is like a pack of straws. So that pack of straws moves sap up and down, and it should be good and expected. Look, this is all expected. Everything's expected in there. It's all ex expect ex expected in here. So there's no like uh, anomalous bark. However, that is a problem. So ultimately, my thought on that tree is you guys are, you're the risk manager. If I was managing the risk, I think I'd look at it. I'd say, look, we have a lot of trees. This one has a known issue. Maybe we look at it on a takedown, grind out, replant, and in, you know, 10 years, we're going to have a nice tree there again, or five or something. You know, I just don't necessarily know that it's a ton of wisdom to continue a, a known tree with, a, with a, oop, I apologize, with a, uh, with enough, I think they're just, that's just suspect. That's it. Um, so that's it. But once again, I lean kind of toward the more of a protective side. Um, but I don't think that that's a, I don't think I'm super off base with that uh, simply because 
co-dominant combined with cable combined with decay i'd probably say you guys would be well within the realm of reasonable to remove that tree i'm sure the city of alpharetta would agree so that's it um if you have any questions you can call us at 770 arborist um we'd be more than happy to uh uh provide any further services okay thanks so much 770-272-6747 thanks bye